Meaning of Undefined and Rational Expressions To identify when a rational expression is undefined, let's look at these examples. What is the value of 0 over 4? Well, we know that whenever we have a 0 in the numerator of a fraction, the value of that fraction is 0. What is the value of 4 over 0? If we have a 0 in the denominator, that causes the fraction to be undefined. Because a zero in the denominator of a fraction means the fraction does not exist, it's important in algebra that once a fraction is reduced, we know what values or numbers will make the denominator zero. So to practice, we're going to determine what values of x would make the fraction undefined. When we look at number one, we're asking ourselves what could I plug in for x in this fraction that would cause the fraction to be undefined? Well, the only value that I could plug in right here for x that would make the fraction undefined would be zero. If I plugged zero in for x, my denominator would be zero and therefore my fraction would be undefined. But for number two, if I plugged in zero where the x is, that would be zero minus three which is negative 3, and it's okay if I have a negative 3 for my denominator. So, what value could I plug in for x that would make my denominator 0? If I plugged in 3 for the x, 3 minus 3 would equal 0. So, the value of x that would cause my denominator to be 0 is 3. Alright, for number 3, what could I plug in for x that would cause my denominator to be 0? Now, um, in number 2 and in number 3 and in number 4, we have x is in the numerator, but we don't care about the numerator. It's okay if we have a 0 in the numerator. When we're trying to determine what values of x would cause the fraction to be undefined, we only look at the denominator. That's what we want to know. Um, what values of x would make it 0 um, is just in the denominator. So for number 3, what could we plug in for x that would cause the denominator to be 0? Well, if I plugged negative 2 in where the x is, negative 2 plus 2 would be 0. So the value of x that would cause my denominator to be 0 is negative 2. If I plugged in negative 2 for x, my denominator would be 0. All right, for number four, what value of x would make my, den my fraction undefined? There's not a value of x that would make my fraction undefined. The only x is in the numerator, and we don't care what the numerator is. Um, that's not going to affect my denominator. So there is no value of x that would cause my fraction to be undefined. Now, in the ones that we've done so far, 1, 2, and 3, it was easy to determine what we could plug in for x that would cause the denominator to be 0. But when we have a fraction like number 5, or a rational expression like number 5, um, it's not as easy to just determine what we could plug in for x that would make the denominator 0. So if that's the case, all we have to do is take our denominator and set it equal to 0 and solve it. If I solve this, that's going to tell me what would make, um, what value I could plug in that would make the denominator 0. So let's solve this. I'm going to add 4. And divide by 3. And I get x equals 4 thirds. So this is saying if I plug in 4 thirds for x, that's going to make my denominator 0. So just to prove it to you, I'm going to show you. If I plugged in 4 thirds where the x is, and simplified, if I multiply 3 times 4 thirds, that's the same as 3 over 1. My 3's would cancel. I would get 4 over 1, which is 4, and 4 minus 4 is 0. So it's true. If I plugged in 4 thirds where the x is, it would make my denominator zero, which would cause my fraction to be undefined.
So let's do the same thing in number six. We want to know the values of x that would cause our fraction to be undefined. So we have to solve the denominator. Well, since this denominator is not linear, um, we're going to have to factor first to be able to solve it. So if I look at the denominator, I could factor out a greatest common factor of 5x, which would leave me with x minus 2. So now I take each of those and set them equal to 0 and solve. If I set 5x equal, uh, if I set 5x equal to 0 and solve that, I get x equals 0. And if I set x minus 2 equal to 0 and solve, I get x equals 2. Okay, so that's saying that either of these two values, if I were to plug it in for x, it would cause my denominator to be 0. So let's test that. If I put in 0 where the x's are, Um, 0 squared is 0, and 5 times 0 is 0, and 10, or negative 10 times 0 uh, would be 0, and 0 minus 0 is 0, so that would make it 0. Okay, let's try the 2. If I were to plug in 2 for both of the x's, 2 squared is 4, and 5 times 4 is 20, and negative 10 times 2, that's negative 20, and 20 minus 20 is 0. So both of those values would cause my denominator to be 0, which would make my fraction undefined.